In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create this cool little before and after slider for our WordPress websites using a simple plugin. So all we need to do is log into our WordPress website and we're going to go down to plugins and add new to search for the plugin, which is B-E-A-F. Forget about that cap on the end. And we have here ultimate before, after image slider and gallery, B-E-A-F. We install that plugin, activate it, and then we can get started. So on the left here, we've got before and after slider. If I click on that, we get taken here where I can add a new slider. And when I'm adding this slider, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. There's a few different methods we can have. A method one with two images, or method two using one image, so I'm not sure exactly how that works or we have method three using three images, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is actually gonna just do a two, two image method and show you how that looks. So it's simple. Once you click the, uh, the number of images you're using, you choose your before image, which for me is this, it's this artwork. It's basically a photo of a toy that was Photoshopped to look all dramatic. I'm gonna say before Photoshop. And then the after image, I'll choose the Photoshopped image I'll say after Photoshop. I'll give the slider a title, so I'll just call this uh, Photoshop Photo Manipulation. And I'll give it a description like uh, photographed this toy and dramatize it. And you can even add like a read more link if you want to. So you go to google.com, read it in the same. So maybe I'll just type in here, you know, go to read more. And it can also take us off to Google. And you can choose an orientation style, which means you can actually have the slider go left to right, up and down, so on and so forth. You can choose different styles of slider. You can see here, you've got this button here, this sort of taller one. Some pretty cool ones. Uh, I'm gonna actually stick, this one looks pretty modern. So I'm actually gonna stick with that one. And what I rec recommend is if you do check this out and you like the look of these arrows, just have a play and see which ones you actually like yourself. Although I might check a few out to at the end of this video to see how they look. Uh, but I'm done with all that now, uh, which now if I scroll back to the top, I can go ahead and publish, but there are some options I can also look at. So when I go here to options, default offset, um, so how much of the image is visible when the image loads. So 0.5, about halfway. If I make it 0.4, it'd be a little bit less. I think it's all right in the center, but once again, if you want to move the slider to one side or the other, you can experiment with this number. I would say that zero is all the way left, one is all the way right, and anywhere in between. Um, you can change the labels before, after, which is pretty cool. Auto slide, so the image will automatically slide, and it's gonna say yes. So we've got a cool effect when the page loads. Click to move, so if you click on an area of the image, it will move the slider to that point. I'm gonna say yes. We are gonna show an overlay and we're gonna leave the rest of those options as is. Now style, you can get uh, nicely lost in there. So the before label background, I'm actually gonna make that black. The before text color, I'm gonna make white. The after label background, I'll say make purple. With the after text color white, just to give it something visual so we can see what effect these settings have on the actual slider. Now the slider handle color, I'll stick with white with this one. The slider overlay color, we'll go purple, but we'll keep it sort of toned down. And of course we can come back and change these at any time because what we do is we get a short code and we can come back and edit this pretty easily. So we can actually change things, like we can set, give it a custom width or a height. I'm just gonna leave it at automatic. So if you've got a particular pixel width you wanna use or pixel height, you can pop that in there. I do wanna center align it. We can change things like the font size, alignment, the font and description. You can go through, customize all the bits and pieces of text that are on the slider, but I think we're good with that for now. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Padding is uh, if there's any padding around the text in the button. I will say seven pixels. I'm gonna go pixels, border radius will go five, so we've got nice curved corners. But other than that, it's selecting colors and font sizes. I usually recommend at least uh, 16 on a, say a blog post or a page, but with something like this, you can get away with something smaller like 14 or 15. So we set up our basic slider and I'm gonna click publish. 
Now we get this short code, which I'm going to copy. So I'm going to actually create a new page in a new tab. I'm going to call this one image slider. I'll call it. I'll say B A for before after. I'll use the default editor. Now, if you're familiar with short codes, you'll know how to pop them in. But if you're not, simply hit plus on your page. Look for the short code block or type in short code correctly and then just right click and paste that short code in there. Now if I preview this page, I can scroll down and you'll see the image. We've got our purple after, black before, just like we set up in the settings. And now if I move this, we can actually reveal the original picture and show the adjustments made over the top. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to do. Uh, now we've actually got, for some reason, we've got a different arrow on here. I'm not sure what has happened there, but um, yeah, for a free plugin, it's definitely not bad. So what we're gonna do is, um, we see here we've got here this photographed toy and dramatize it. We've got the read more button, which takes us to Google. So it's like a little module you can use on your page, which is pretty handy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna click back for a second. And we're going to change a few things around to see what the effect is. This time we're going to go horizontal. I'm going to change to this. And now I'm going to update. Just so you can see the difference between vertical and horizontal. So now I'll tab back. Now one thing I have noticed is the short code has changed. So I'm going to copy the short code and I'm going to tab to the page and put the new short code in and then preview that again. Now we have a vertical slider. We can click to where we want to get that effect. So it's pretty handy. Uh, like I said, uh, for some reason the handle doesn't seem to be working when I do it here, but otherwise it's a, it's a pretty handy and pretty cool little feature and something worth exploring. The only other thing I'm gonna explore now is the single and the double image. So we'll quickly knock back. And I'm just gonna click these, click these, pop the images in there and just back and forth so you can see what results you get. So this time I'm gonna choose method two using one image. We'll choose an image here. So upload or add an image, which seems to be disabled. So we're actually gonna add a new slider for this one. And we're gonna stick with one image, add or upload an image. Seems to be playing up for some reason. So the one image doesn't seem to be working. Pro feature, there you go. So the reason I can't do that is because I actually don't have a pro version of the plugin. But otherwise, that's pretty cool. Even though we can't actually use those pro features, uh, which I didn't realize until I actually went to try and use them, you can still get a basic image slider for free on the WordPress, WordPress uh, free plugin repository, or you can even go ahead and pay for the premium version, which I will pop a link to below if you want to check that out. But uh, it's a pretty handy tool, very easy to use, very easy to set up, and uh, you get this cool little effect. So anyway, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and uh, check this out and have a play with it, see what you reckon. There's a lot of options there to work with. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.